This video will explore the crewed Artemis III mission and the blueprint for its success. At the heart of Artemis III is the Orion spacecraft, NASA's deep space, human-rated vehicle. Orion is built in three parts, the crew module, where up to four astronauts live and work, the service module, which provides life support and houses the main engine and the launch abort system designed to pull the crew to safety during any launch anomaly. To launch this mission, NASA has developed the Space Launch System, or SLS, the most powerful rocket in history. SLS combines a massive core stage with two extended solid rocket boosters, providing the power needed to send Orion and its crew beyond Earth's orbit. Fully fueled, this rocket weighs over 6 million pounds, with 5.2 million of that being fuel. At ignition, all four RS-25 engines in the core stage and the two solid rocket boosters fire simultaneously, producing an incredible 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust to lift the rocket. The solid rocket boosters burn for approximately two minutes and then separate, while the core stage engines continue to burn for another six minutes before jettisoning. Once the core stage is spent, the upper stage fires, placing Orion into a parking orbit around Earth. Here, the crew checks all systems, ensuring everything's ready for deep space travel. After confirmation from mission control, the upper stage ignites once more, pushing Orion toward the moon. Timing is critical for this maneuver to escape Earth's gravity and follow a trajectory that intercepts the moon. Once this burn is complete, the upper stage of the SLS detaches, leaving Orion and its crew to coast for several days toward their lunar destination. Following a multi-day journey, Orion approaches the Lunar Gateway Station. Gateway is a dedicated lunar outpost in orbit around the moon, designed to support both crewed and uncrewed missions. Positioned in a unique halo orbit, Gateway can adjust its orbit to allow access to different parts of the moon, something previous missions could not achieve. This station acts as a critical staging ground for astronauts, providing a robust communications relay and a place to pre-stage equipment. Designed with open standards, Gateway allows expansion as new missions and international partnerships develop. It enables multiple human missions on the moon simultaneously, with ongoing science and operations even between crewed missions. With Gateway, Artemis missions have a reliable platform for transferring astronauts to a dedicated lunar lander, equipped to transport the crew from lunar orbit down to the surface. The lunar lander itself is designed for three key stages, descending from Gateway's orbit to low lunar orbit, then to the moon's surface, and finally returning the astronauts to Gateway. This reusable approach ensures a sustainable lunar exploration strategy, with Gateway acting as a long-term hub for lunar missions. After completing the surface mission, the crew returns to Gateway and boards Orion for the journey home. To leave lunar orbit, Orion's engine fires again, setting it on a path back to Earth. Days later, as Orion approaches Earth, it releases the service module and reorients the crew module heat shield first. Re-entering the atmosphere at 25,000 miles per hour, Orion faces temperatures up to 5,000 degrees, and the heat shield protects the crew while slowing the craft. At around 300 miles per hour, a series of parachutes deploy, slowing Orion to just 20 miles per hour for a safe splashdown. Each Artemis mission builds on the last, guiding us towards sustainable exploration of the moon and laying the groundwork for human missions to Mars. Thank you for watching. If you're excited about the future of space exploration, stay tuned.